What's up, everybody? Mm. <laughs> that was like the weirdest sound I've ever made. Hi, everyone. Finally, we're gonna get to some book videos. Woo! I know you guys have been getting tired of all the intros, and I apologize for all that. Finally got everything sorted out. I'm pretty sure you guys know a ton about me now, and a ton of what this channel is gonna be like. But uh, let's get right into it. My first book talk and book review is going to be The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hayden, Haddon, whatever. Unfortunately, uh, I had this in my backpack and um, it ripped. Moment of silence for my book real fast. In the arms of the angel. Okay, let's get to the book. I'll start with a spoiler-free review and then I'll get to the book talk. So. Let me just uh, read the back of the book for those interested about what it's about. Christopher John Francis Boone knows all the countries of the world and their capitals in every prime number up to 7,057. He relates well to animals, but has no understanding of human emotions. He cannot stand to be touched, and he detests the color yellow. This improbable story of Christopher's quest to investigate the suspicious death of a neighborhood dog makes for one of the most captivating, unusual, and widely heralded novels in recent years. And uh, let me just get right away to the review. Some things that I really did like about the book. When you read the book, it really feels like Christopher is talking to you rather than the author, which is a really cool feeling. Um, when authors can do that, it's one of the most impressive things that an author, you know, can do. I really did like the style, actually, and even though a lot of people, they're, one of their main negatives for this book is the chopped up style of the story it makes it hard to really truly connect with Christopher and it seems like he's more pushing you away so that you can't become really attached to the character and you don't truly get to know him as well as you would if he more connected to the audience but honestly I believe that really stays true to Christopher's character if you read the book you'll find out what his character is really like and I believe that's more characteristic of Christopher than if he just when from one point A to point B without changing anything, without inserting any crazy facts or whatever like he does in this book. So honestly, I, I did like that part of the book. Also, some of the twists in there, oh my god. Like, I, I, I didn't know what to expect when picking up this book. I thought it was going to be just a plain old mystery book. It really wasn't. It was a really interesting read. I'm going to hold it right here so you can see it's a dog in the nighttime. It's a pretty cool design. And back to the subject. I thought it was just going to be a normal mystery read. But it was so much more than that. You got to know Christopher and his family and the whole situation. Overall, it was really interesting. Some things I didn't like. Again, the whole jumping from one subject to another. I mean, it's really entertaining. Don't get me wrong. I really do enjoy that. But it did get to a point where it was kind of tedious and I just wanted to learn what was on, you know, going on in the story. But there were some parts that I didn't really enjoy. And it was kind of drawn out longer than I wanted it to be. Which is fine, but it just that's the reason why I didn't give this book five stars. Overall, it was a nice, quick, fast read. I actually read this in the span of about five days, but in those five days I was really busy. I did not have much time to read at all, and the fact that I was able to read all this in that time is awesome. My verdict is uh, 3.5 or 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, it was an enjoyable book, and now let's get to the book talk. So if you haven't read this book, uh, go read it because it's a really fast read. Honestly, I probably could have finished this within a day. There's pictures in there too, which make it even more enjoyable. There's a graph and math, so hashtag swag! It was a really good book. I really did enjoy it. So go read it right now, and then you can join me later for the book talk. So, uh, have fun. Read the book. And for those who already read the book, let's talk about it. In the beginning, um, we started off with the whole dog scene. What's so bad for him, and like... You can tell that he really likes dogs, and I like dogs too, and it just it made me sad that he, like, you know, he found the dog killed and everything. Imagining him holding that dead dog, it made me kind of sad. But I also like how it, right away it gets the whole emotion thing, where you get to really, you know, um, understand his character more, and understand why the book is written the way it is. When he hit that officer, um, that was, I was like, way to go, kid. Just like, you know, starts touching you, BAM! Hit that mofo. Hit that mofo popo. I mean, I kind of was kind of glad that he hit him, but at the same time, I was like, oh my god, he hit an officer, dude. He should not have done that. And we found out that he was a special kid. Like, I, I forgot whether it was autism or Asperger's. One of those. It's one of those. I Honestly, that kind of shocked me. I didn't expect that. I don't think I ever, I ever read anywhere that uh, that's what he had. 
I just thought he, he just had a strange character that really liked logic rather than emotion. So that kind of shocked me a little bit. We just uh, go on. He's starting to investigate stuff. And when he's investigating, honestly, though, I must say, it was really adorable the way he went about doing it. When the stranger was, um, the woman, the old woman, was going inside to get him a snack, and he just, like, left because he, like, he didn't know what to do, and, like, the stranger's getting him food, so he, like, left. I just had to, like, smile, like, oh, Christopher. Oh, you. Like, we learn about his mom being dead and everything. That continues for a while. You just learn more about the family, more about his father and his life. And then, boom. The big twist. And this, this is, like, midway through the book, but I did not expect it whatsoever. His mom was alive. What? I, I headed my books back. I'm sorry, books. But what? That seriously blew my mind. I was like, I did not expect that whatsoever. So that was pretty crazy. That was like the number one on like the craziness scale for this book. That happened and then almost immediately after that we learned that the dad killed the dog. And immediately after that big shock, it was kind of like a smaller shock, but it was still like, I did not expect that whatsoever. After he finds out that his dad killed um, the dog, he, he decided to run away. And that was a pretty crazy decision. I get what fuels him, but at the same time, you're like, Christopher, no, you, you don't understand, Christopher. He really does love you. He's not going to kill you and everything. You want to tell him that, but you can't. That's just his way of understanding everything. That's just the way it is. You can't change it. He runs away. But by the way, when he's waiting for some of the trains and those people are treating him poorly, I just wanted to go up and <laughs> back smack him and be like, don't treat him like that. Okay? You don't understand. You don't know him. You don't know his life. You don't know his struggles. So that, that kind of pissed me off when people treated him badly. After he escapes all the policemen on the train, like a boss, the moment when he lost the rat and the rat was on the train tracks and he jumped down, I was like, I literally tensed up, I'm like, no, 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 get, get back up, Christopher, Christopher, you're in danger. And that stranger saved him and I'm like, oh. There's a lot of times where you want to in interact and like tell the stranger, fortunately he's special, you know, he's Asperger's or autism or whatever he has. And then you just want to tell him he really does appreciate it. And you want to, like, help him out and so much. And Mark Hayden or Haddon, I probably should have figured out how to pronounce his name before I made this video. But anyway, he writes really well in the sense that you want to get involved with this story. You don't just want to read it and, like, you aren't just along for the ride. You want to be in the ride. You want to help out the characters, which is really cool and really interesting. So finally he gets to his mom. The guy that she's with is, he was a jerk. He, I really just wanted him, like, out of the picture. And luckily the mom saw that eventually. And she decided to leave him and go back to the whole father thing. And then, like, that, that's basically near the end. The whole awkward situation between Christopher, his dad, and his mom. Oh my god, can I just say that ending was so heartwarming. When the dad gave him the dog. I, stop it, phone. When the dad gave him the dog, it was just, ah. The feels, all oh, the feels, I mean, he's so happy. You can tell that the dad loves his son, and it's just, uh, it's not like the, it's not a happy ending, per se, because the dad and the son still have to work on their relationship, and the mom is in a tough situation now, but just everything seems to work out in general, and, like, people are, some people are now closer, and it's just, like, Overall, it's a generally happy ending, so that made me really happy. Tell me uh, if you read the books. I hope you did. If you didn't and you're still watching, shame on you. For those of you that did and watched, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what your thoughts of this book are. I know it's a rather old book, but especially after reading Crime and Punishment, which was a hefty, hefty book. It took forever to read. Uh, it was nice being able to read this, and it was really fast, which is good. That's exactly what I needed. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. I think that's enough for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and see you all in the next video. Okay, bye.